Russia is apparently going forward with an agreement to buy short-range ballistic missiles from Iran. Welcome everyone in today's video. We're going to tell you Russia sends new hyper-artillery to Iran. The Wall Street Journal initially reported on the tentative sale arrangement on Thursday, citing anonymous U.S. officials. But before we proceed the further details, if you're new to this channel, remember, go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. According to officials, the missiles would increase Russia's ability to target Ukrainian infrastructure at a time when support for ongoing U.S. military assistance to Kyiv is dwindling in Congress. The United States is concerned that Russian negotiations to acquire close-range ballistic missiles from Iran are actively advancing. A U.S. official told the journal, we assess that Russia intends to purchase missile systems from Iran. The officials told the journal that they do not believe the agreement has been formalized, but that the first deliveries of Iranian missiles might occur in the spring. According to officials, Moscow has already begun to receive ballistic missile launchers and several dozen ballistic missiles from North Korea. Russia's interest in obtaining Iranian missiles was first revealed in mid-December when a Russian delegation visited an Iranian training area to view ballistic missiles and related equipment displayed by Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, Aerospace Force, including its short-range Abebel missile, according to U.S. officials speaking with the journal. The previously undisclosed travel took place after Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu visited the IRC Aerospace Force headquarters in Tehran, in September to see a presentation of the Ababal and other missile systems, authorities said. Shoigu also spoke with Major General Mohammad Baghari, the chief of staff of Iran's armed forces, at the time, claiming that Russia-Iran relations were reaching new heights. That visit occurred the same month that Russian President Vladimir Putin and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un met at a spaceport in Russia's Far East to pledge increased collaboration on economic and security concerns. According to several individuals acquainted with the deal, North Korea has subsequently begun shipping a variety of weapons to Russia, including, for the first time, short-range ballistic missiles to eastern Russia. Officials stated the equipment included previously reported howitzer stocks. Moscow's strategy could include expanding the number of missiles launched in an attempt to overwhelm Ukraine's anti-missile defenses, as seen by Russia's efforts to enhance supply via negotiations with North Korea and now Iran. According to the journal, Russia has already purchased many drones from Iran for use in the Ukraine conflict, and Moscow and Tehran are collaborating on the construction of a new facility in Russia, the U.S. Officials' estimate could produce thousands of drones for attacking Kyiv forces. The United States is growing concerned that increased cooperation between Moscow and Tehran may bolster Iran's military capability in the Middle East as well as its devastated economy due to Western sanctions. A United Nations Security Council resolution passed following the 2015 Iran nuclear deal that prevented Iran from exporting or importing certain types of missiles and drones as well as military technologies used to manufacture and operate missiles, without Council approval, officially expired in October. In response, the United States imposed further sanctions aimed at discouraging Tehran's missile trade and signed a deal with 47 other nations to impede Iran's sale of ballistic missiles and associated technology. Russia's foreign ministry, on the other hand, stated that the United Nations ban on Iranian missile sales was no longer necessary contradicting Moscow's previous cooperation with the United States, European nations, and China in negotiating the 2015 nuclear deal with Tehran, as well as Russia's 2017 support for the United Nations Security Council imposing sanctions on North Korea in response to its nuclear and ballistic missile activities. According to a former State Department source, Russia's foreign strategy now concentrates on undermining U.S. interests. Russia is seeking more attack drones from Iran after depleting stockpile. The White House announced on Monday that Russia is trying to purchase additional advanced attack drones from Iran for use in its war against Ukraine, having used up the majority of the 400 drones it had previously purchased from Tehran. Last year, the Biden administration released satellite footage and intelligence findings 
indicating that Iran had sold hundreds of attack drones to Russia. And for months, authorities said the U.S. suspected Iran was considering selling hundreds of ballistic missiles to Russia, although there was no evidence a deal had been reached. Iran also continues to provide Russia with one-way assault, unmanned aerial vehicles. Since August, Iran has supplied Russia with over 400 UAVs, principally of the shade type, stated White House National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby. Russia has deployed the majority of these UAVs, targeting Ukrainian key infrastructure within Ukraine. By providing Russia with these UAVs, Iran has directly enabled Russia's aggression in Ukraine. Kirby told reporters. Russia has already purchased shade drones, which are loaded with explosives and programmed to hover overhead until they plunge into a target. Unmanned equivalents of World War II, kamikaze pilots who flew their explosive-laden planes into us battleships in the Pacific. Kirby claimed the Russians are now looking at acquiring even more powerful drones, capable of more lethality. The latest revelation is part of a steady drip of intelligence findings from the administration outlining what us officials claim is a growing defense relationship between Russia and Iran. The U.S. claims are part of a larger push to declassify and broadcast intelligence findings regarding Moscow's conduct of its almost 15-month war in Ukraine, with the goal of deepening Russia's worldwide isolation. Meanwhile, British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's office stated Monday that it will provide Ukraine hundreds more air defense missiles, as well as long-range attack drones with a range of more than 200 kilometers. The declaration came as Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky visited Britain and unsuccessfully pressured Sunak to equip Ukraine with fighter jets as the country prepares for a long-awaited spring offensive to recover territory lost. by. The Biden administration claims that the Kremlin's dependence on Iran and North Korea, both of which are virtually isolated on the world scene due to their nuclear programs and human rights records, demonstrates desperation. This is despite Ukrainian resistance and the global coalition's achievements in blocking Russian military supply routes and withholding replacements for weaponry lost on the battlefields. The White House claims Russia has resorted to North Korea for artillery, According to us sources, Iran assisted Russia with artillery and tank munitions for its invasion of Ukraine. This is a full-scale defense partnership that is harmful to Ukraine, the Middle East region and the international community, said Kirby, who added that Iran has been Russia's top military backer from the commencement of the Ukraine incursion. Kirby stated that the government intends to strengthen export controls to prevent Western components from reaching Iran for use in drone manufacturing. He also hinted at possible future penalties against Iran and Russia. Iran has stated that it provided drones to Russia prior to the outbreak of the war, but not thereafter. North Korea has denied that it provided Russia with artillery. For months, the White House has expressed concern that military cooperation between Moscow and Tehran could be reciprocal. According to the White House, Iran intends to purchase additional military equipment from Russia, including attack helicopters, radars, and Yak-130 combat trainer planes. Iran also declared last month that it had sealed an agreement to purchase Su-35 combat fighters from Russia. The White House has previously stated that Russia and Iran were discussing establishing a drone assembly line in Russia for the Ukraine conflict. In total, Iran is seeking billions of dollars worth of military equipment from Russia, Kirby told reporters. That's all for today's video. The latest charges come as Biden prepares to travel to Hiroshima, Japan later this week for the Group of Seven meeting, where he is anticipated to urge on fellow leaders of some of the world's largest economies to strengthen export controls and sanctions against Russia. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.